Um, my first question for you, Sofia. And Ellie is a really badass character. <laughs> and how was your preparation for the fight scenes? Uh, they were... Grueling. Grueling. <laughs> I was trying to think of the, the best word for it. They were grueling. We were, we were in a boot camp for about two, two months two leading months, up yeah. to camera up. And we were just in the, in the stunts room every day, me and Lawrence going, over the choreography, getting our stamina up, conditioning, and um, and it was fun. It really gave us time to like pour into the character and get to know the world even more. And and so I had the best time getting to learn the fight scenes. And then by the time we were on set, ready to do the fight scenes, we felt so prepared because yep. Adam Horton, our the stunt co uh, coordinator and choreographer, had just given everything to us so that we were ready and we really could just kind of like go for it so now you're a mas mastering throwing knives at the people yeah. Yeah. yeah give me a knife i'll show you <laughs> don't please please don't <laughs> and Lawrence, Yo. can you can you define your character in just one world one word yeah angry <laughs> no. No. Not lover? <laughs> angry or hungry angry angry angry, angry. angry. i think so angry, angry. there you go <laughs> Uh, Joey, yesterday you saw a very big crowd yelling all the time. Did you expect the death about the Witcher here in Brazil? Uh, I'm not gonna lie, I didn't, I didn't. Like, I, uh, I, I'm so appreciative of the Brazilian fan base and um, because they, they really love the books and they really love the games. This has been built into their, their blood for, for the past uh, 40 years nearly, uh, well, over 40 years now. And to be witness to, to some of that joy was just the most heartwarming thing, to walk out on a stage or just to have interviews with these, um, these people who, who know it, who really know it. They're scholars of this stuff. And watching them get so excited about this story, th their story, this new story, this story that is um, building on Mr. Sapkowski's work, exploring more of the game, exploring more of the, the Witcher series. Um, it's it's wild. It was quite sort of, at first intimidating, but then we all just sort of went, ah, oh, this is just, this is just exciting. Yeah. 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 And do you agree Brazilian fans are the most excited in the world? Because I mean, people use football, football yeah. 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 We, yeah. I mean, <laughs> we, we went to CCXP uh, uh, yesterday. Um, that's an experience I don't think I'll ever, ever be much again in my life. That energy in that room, yeah. the, the, the passion, the, the warm welcome we, we got, and yeah. how excited the fans were. It was incredible. The people are great. You know? we, we, we couldn't have expected that, I, th I think. We, we didn't know what to expect, but going out there and receiving like so much, you know, the energy in that room was just yeah. like actual magic. Mm. And yeah. so, for them to present magic back to us was yeah, like a really yeah. reflective moment of being like, wow. I know, we are amazing. I was there, <laughs> I was the Alan too. I love it. I love it. And my other question is for Sophia and Loris and Fial, I'm, I'm not sure if I'm Fial, yeah. okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And Ali are mortal enemies at the beginning and they changed their minds. What made they change their minds? How they become allies? Well, Fial can be quite charming. <laughs> I don't think it was that. <laughs> nah, I think she's not a real <laughs> but I like I it. think, um, I don't know if it was a change of mind, I think it was more a change of heart. And I think they really connected with each other and and they they move each other in ways that they've never been moved before. And so it just, it, it happens kind of unconsciously. and um, Which I think happens in life, you, you, you do have a change of heart throughout your life and it's not it's not something that happens very swiftly and mm. I think that's what we wanted to bring to it is we wanted to make sure there were delicate moments where there were shifts and change of the heart. So, yeah. yeah, and I think um, Fiat has never met anybody like Ayla before. I mean, especially with the, the power of music and how she moves people with her music and how she can, can lift people up just with the power of her voice and, and, and love. Like, all Fiat really knows is like blood, guts and death and for Ayla to be from a rival clan and still have the power to, to walk away from a life like that and use her powers for good, he just, he's, he's just blown away. Okay. Yeah. And again for both of you, and you have a lot of uh, expressions like conjunction of the spheres and magic things and fantasy things. Were you familiar with the Zack story? Did you play the game? Did you read the books? 
yeah. I was familiar with the show yeah. before I auditioned, yeah. Um, yeah, it, yeah, yeah. I was hard not to be familiar with the show because it was everywhere and yeah. And um, I know Lawrence was... Yeah, yeah, I was a massive fan of, um, of the series and a massive fan of the games. I mean, I'd, I'd go to set and shoot all day and I'd go home and keep the shoes off and just start playing the game again.